So we're going to take the footpath. I'm pretty sure this led us around to the back of it. I believe there was a golf course as well around the rear. Right, some more houses. And we've got an old tractor here. Just round here. My Cormac. All right, so we're taking you on a little bit of a woodland walk now. But um, I think I know where I'm heading. Right, well, this is a golf course. We're going to um, hopefully launch a drone from here for the house in the sky. There it is. Let's see what we can do with the drone now. There's a house in the sky. We've got the back footpath behind it. I do believe you can rent it out, hire it, have weekends in there, stays in there. I'm not too sure whether I did see that on Grand Designs on Channel 4 many years ago. Right, now for the windmill. Right, so I've got the lovely windmill coming up now. Hopefully do a quick circle flight around this. Another beautiful building in Thorpe Nest. windmill and house in the clouds. The old disused mill was dismantled and removed to Thorpe Ness where it was converted to pump water to the new tank nearby 1923. The introduction of this area water supply came into scheme in 1963. Here we see the construction of the biggest water tower designed to provide adequate water supply to the village disguised the tower to appear as a little floating house in the clouds 1923 to 1924. The house in the clouds, the fairies really own this house or so the children say, in fact they are all of them moved in upon the self same day for rentals inquiries 
visit www.houseinthecloud.co.uk. Right, so that's a stunning windmill. Beautiful house next door. I think we've got some lovely drone footage and photos of everything. Wasn't expecting to get much drone action here this week when I did see the weather, but um, I think if we'd left it till Saturday when the rain come, or is planning on coming, we probably wouldn't have got those. Right, so we're going to have a slow, gentle wander back through the village, back by the boating lake, and back along the seafront houses, possibly taking a little bit of beach action for Sky. Um, we'll see how long this video is. We'll probably pop a little bit of drone action in it, guys. So um, we'll continue the walk shortly. These houses are part of the original Holiday Cottage, first built in Thorpe Ness between 1911 and 1914. No two are alike in design and each is fully equipped with good furniture, cutlery, linen, running water and gas. Thus every comfort was provided and allowing carefree holidays in which many enjoy. So these are the holiday houses. which will be probably private now. So we're heading back towards the boating lake. Across the road, we've got the golf club and hotel down that road. Right, so this is a hand dugout boat in lake. Might just have one more drone flight from Fort Ness. Noisy. Right, I think we're gonna just walk back now. We didn't do another drone flight, guys. The wind has picked up significant and it's getting rather threatening in the clouds, so we're gonna take a steady wander back. We have got a little lightweight mat on, but um, we will get wet if it happens. Now, if I was going to fly here, we'd have to use the smaller mini drone. And I just think it'd be tossed about and um, probably end up in the drink. So these are more of the holiday homes across the road, according to the signage. Probably are some rental still. Right, I think the cafe is beginning to open. A little kiosk at the front. Looks open and the kitchen in Thorpe Ness. It's getting a little bit of action there. Right, back across the road to the car park area. So the shop is now open. We're not going to go in. We'd be the only ones in there if we did. There is another route onto the beach there, guys, but um, 
Obviously we can't go that way because um, the dog restrictions. Right, Thorpe Ness Heritage Trail. The trail starts and finishes at the Heritage Centre. You can find storyboards telling you about the history of Thorpe Ness and old photos. It's basically a good walk of what we've done, guys. So that is the Heritage Centre. If you want to pick up a walk from here, they've probably got little guide maps in there as well. Right, so back onto the boardwalk and onto the track at the beach front houses, seafront houses, and then we've got the steady walk back to the campsite. It was about a mile and a half, I think, to the boating lake it was. So, um, brisk walk, you do it in 30 minutes. We took a time, went on the beach, had a little drone flight, so um, it probably took us about ooh, 50 minutes to an hour. So we're gonna take a right here. Well, my girl is saying, come on, Dad, let's walk the beach a bit. So we'll go down this bottom end where it's a little bit more sandy. And we'll pick up the path again shortly. We're not walking this all the way back. Well, I think we've had the best of the day now. We've got plenty of editing to do when we get back. We've got some of yesterday's footage, drone flights, etc. A couple of walks. And then we'll probably just have a little walk into Oldborough this afternoon. the beach. Hard work walking up this gravel. Oh and we'll pick up the we'll pick up the pathway now. There's all the properties on Thorpe Ness Seafront. Right, I think we're going to conclude our walk here guys, we're just basically walking back to the campsite now. Thanks again, if you've enjoyed that little walk of ours to 
Thorpe Ness in Suffolk. There will be some drone flights coming from here. Probably after this is released, guys, we've got a lot of drone footage to put first. So it's a thanks from Ian, it's a thanks from Sky. Do comment, like, even subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And um, we'll try and do something tomorrow. Whether related it will be, we might do the River Oud River Walk. So, um, but who knows, guys? It might be the last vlog we do from here. If it is, thank you for watching them all, and um, hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Um, sorry about any wind noise. There've been. Uh, I do try my best to eradicate it, but um, it's an out of my control sometimes. So. Thanks again, see you all soon. Bye for now.